Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia and today I am going to be sharing my spring 2021 fashion trend alert video with you guys. I absolutely love these spring fashion trends and I think they're so fun and definitely the designers this year have been listening so much more to us and seeing what we need and what we want and I'm so excited to be sharing with you guys the designer trends that I have been seeing and which I think will be trickling down into retail fashion this year. So without further ado, let's get into it. So before I start off this video, I just wanna share with you guys the app that I use to kinda of view designer fashion, and I think it's a great tool to use if you are looking to get more into designer fashion. So biggest thing to know is designer fashion, although it may be funky, a little quirky, something that you probably wouldn't see yourself in all the time, Designer fashion have these big, bold, loud trends, and then retail stores will pick and choose parts of designer fashion to use in their clothing lines. So a lot of designer fashion, you're not going to see people walking around in some of the crazy items that they come up with. However, you will see a lot of similar things going on with different designers, and you can usually from that decide, well, this is probably going to be a spring trend that is going to therefore be in retail a lot and a lot of people are going to be wearing it. So the app that I use is called Vogue Runway. Here she is. And basically they have almost every single uh, fashion show for the past like couple of years at least, which means that you can always be up to date to what designers are going to be producing each year and you can really get to know designers a little bit more. They have like bios about them. It's a really great tool and right now all of the fall runway shows were happening or have happened. You can definitely check up on here what you think is going to be a fall trend but I just use this tool to kind of share my spring trends and most of the photos are also taken from here. So I think it's a really great tool if you're looking to get more into fashion and you want to get more into designer fashion. This has every run runway show going on right now from like like H&M all the way up to like Christian Dior and like the really big ones. So I really recommend checking it out. It's a really fun tool and you can see what designers are going to be producing in the next year or so. So you can kind of keep an eye out what you would like to maybe save up to purchase. So now let's get into the fashion trends. So the first one I'm just going to briefly mention, it's not a huge one that I've been seeing, but I give myself a little pat on the back for predicting this in my 2021 fashion trend predictions, and that is 1920s trends. I knew, I've had, I heard people talking about it, I knew something was gonna come from the 1920s. I predicted a few different things, but I have been seeing like, the feather trim like on a flapper dress. I've been seeing that a lot as well as some like beaded items and stuff like that. Items that I love and I think are so fun and I wish I had someone to go and wear them, but I absolutely love this. So I just wanted to briefly mention that I have seen a few of those items. It's not too big, but I think that if you're looking for a fun night out, that would be a perfect addition is something kind of more feathered with like a trim or something along the themes of the 1920s. I think any trend from that time you could pull off. So probably the most common trend that I've seen this year and that everybody is talking about is mid-length dresses and skirts. I think that last year we really went into the maxi length. We really went to like the ankle length and longer. We were doing that long flowy thing. I think this year it's just going to be a little bit shorter. Designers were cutting their hems just a little bit above the ankle, somewhere between the knee and the ankle, anywhere in that shin area where you're going to be seeing a lot of dresses and skirts. So if you have something in a maxi length, you're totally okay to wear it. Don't worry about it too much, but definitely something I've noticed. And I've also noticed designers are doing hemlines a little bit asymmetrical. I've noticed some off to the side, a little bit of funky quirkiness to it. I think it gives it more fluidity and when you walk, it's really gorgeous. So I love both of these hem length trends and definitely keep a lookout because they will be coming a lot in the spring and summertime. So one of my favorite and probably one of the most iconic trends this year is going to be black and white 
which I know, I know, it's black and white, it's classic, you can never go wrong with it, of course. However, designers are taking it one step forward and they're doing a really, really harsh contrast of white and black together. So I've seen a lot of dresses that are split down the middle, one side's completely white, one side's completely black, maybe a little bit of mix in between the two, but it's not so much patterned, it's a lot more harsh contrast. So I think this is definitely something that retail fashion is going to be picking up very, very soon if they haven't already. And you're going to be seeing a lot of black and white split items, which I love this. I think it's so fun. And some of the inspiration picks that I have for this, oh, they just, designers did it really well. So hats off to them for this trend. So one of the trends, it's not so much designer that I've seen, but I've already seen more fashion influencers using this a lot is structured t-shirts. So last year, I think that everybody was really into like the baggy oversized cotton like boyfriend tee or whatever it would be. This year, I think that we're really moving towards a more structured classic look like cashmere cotton fabrics, really nice structured, a little more fitted and just a little bit more classic. I really, really like this. I've already purchased a few items from H&M. If you look in their basics selection, they have quite a few of these tops already, and I think they're gonna be a huge trend. They're definitely already a hit in my book. I absolutely love this trend. Um, so if you do have like the baggier shirts, just consider making them a little bit more fitted or wearing them a little bit more fitted. It's not a huge deal, but I definitely have already seen people buying up these kind of shirts. So just keep an eye out for that. And honestly, this is probably one of my favorite trends. So I previously mentioned that designers this year are really listening to us and taking advice more from the public eye. After being in a pandemic for over a year now, we need some happiness. And designers have brought back the bold and beautiful colors. This is definitely a trend that I don't think I'll be participating in much. I definitely have seen some designers stick to the pastels, the classic pastels, but I've seen a lot of designers go to more bold colors, which I'm totally on board with. I really love how they did it. Like the floral patterns are huge and colorful and flashy. I love how this has been executed. Personally, I probably, like I said, won't be participating in this one, but there are a few color trends that I have seen and one of them I'm in love with. So the first color trend that I have seen a lot of is tangerine. Now I'm not too much of an orange person but this has been a really classic look of orange and it's not too bold for me. I really love the softer side of it and I personally really like how people are styling these tangerine outfits. So that's my first one. And then the second one, <laughs> the second one, is matcha green. More specifically, I think green is going to be very in the spring, but I have seen so much matcha green and so much like softer hued greens and I really, really love this one as well. I've already purchased so many matcha colored items because I'm in love with this color. It's kind of a little bit dustier, a little bit dulled down, but definitely green in general is going to be very huge this spring. And the last one is pink, more specifically, dusty rose pink. I've seen a lot of people talking about pink this year. I feel like pink always somehow makes its way back into fashion when the weather warms up. But I think this year we're going, like I said, a little bit duller. We're going a little bit less hued in the dustier rose category. Most of these colors are a little bit dulled down, even though I did say bold colors are going to be in. But these three specific colors I've seen so much repetition of and I think they're definitely going to be mixed in with a lot of other colors as well. So usually I would talk about some sort of florals. I did kind of mention that they are a little bit bigger florals. They're not as dainty this year, but however, I have seen more stripes this year than I care to admit. I'm not usually a huge stripes fan. However, I'm really liking how designers are doing it this year. They're mixing more patterns in a striped pattern that makes sense and I haven't seen too much if we're going more vertical or horizontal with our stripes I've seen a mix pretty much of both ways so whatever you have I'm sure it'll work fine personally I definitely like the vertical stripes more and I like a little bit thinner stripes but stripes are definitely going to be in this year so pull out those striped items everybody has something striped in their wardrobe I can guarantee I even have some tucked away 
but pull them out this year because they're definitely going to be back in. Now, like I said, with the bold colors, designers listened to us. They heard what we wanted and thank goodness I didn't see very many low-rise jeans like I was scared we would. I saw loose fitted pants. We have definitely moved away um, in the past couple of years from skinny jeans to something a little bit more comfortable, loose fitting. And I saw designers take this to a next level this year. So the first like loose fitted pant is like khakis or chinos, I believe. Um, I personally love the khaki look. I think it's so classic it's part of that like business casual that i kept mentioning through the fall and winter time i think we're taking bits of that and putting that into spring but a loose fitted khaki and just super comfortable maybe cuffed on the bottom which is something that really goes out a little bit more and the other one is wide leg denim jeans i personally don't really like how big they're getting i like something a little bit more fitted i like a straight leg denim but I think you can definitely get away with like doing something a lot more bigger on the cuff ankle, something with some sort of heel or a kitten heel, anything like that with some bigger pants would look so, so cute. Now, another trend that I saw kind of sprinkled in, which I think is totally coming back from 90s fashion is sheer. If you guys have been recently watching like myself, some 90s classic movies, you'll see when they have like their party scenes, they always have somebody with a dress and like a sheer like button up on top and or like tied on the top. I actually used to have one of these, but I think they are such a fun thing to do. You can even go for the classic 90s look, but I've seen designers like Acne Studios doing a lot of sheer items this year. So anything sheer, I think we kind of sprinkled that in last spring and summer with like the sheer sleeves. I think we're going a step further and we're doing full sheer items with of course something underneath. And I really like this one as well. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more content like this. I also have my social medias, Instagram and TikTok down below so you can follow me there. And let me know what you guys think of these spring trends. Will you be participating in any of them? Is there one that stood out, one that you didn't like at all? And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.